specifically draw out this idea of application and you check, not challenge it, but you want to redirect it, reshape yeah. it because application seems to have taken on a different meaning in which you think that, I mean, you, you mentioned that we've, we've become so consumed with application, how to apply it. And a, there's a better way to go about it. And that's the faithful response. Mm -hmm. Why did you feel that we needed to see that instead of the application idea? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Good, good question. So it, I think when you when you think about the idea of application, it's built around this kind of model of like, okay, I'm going to study a text that's really distant from me. And then it's going to be kind of up to me after I've really figured out what it meant to draw out a principle or a theme and then connect it into my world. Think about what it would have meant today. And I think that there's something true and legitimate about kind of that sort of idea of application. Um, but I want to reframe that around the idea of faithful response. And what this does is a couple things. The first thing it does is it personalizes the fact that we're, when we're reading the Bible, we're not just trying to like kind of draw something out, but we're actually responding to a person, to a living God who is speaking to you through that passage. And we're asking, what would a faithful response look like to what God is saying through this passage? So, so it brings the focus more upon what God might be saying and is saying than upon some tech, something I need to do to figure out how it connects to my world. So, so it brings a personal element in and brings what God is doing more in it. The other thing it does is it gives more of a vision for what the scriptures are trying to, God's trying to do through the scriptures in our lives. Sometimes with application, it can be kind of very, I don't know, moralistic or kind of, um, pragmatic in some respects and may lend itself to certain types of kind of responding to God's word. But what we have in the scriptures often is already embedded within the scriptures themselves is an invitation for us to respond. What would God and in inspiring the original author would have expected in terms of a response from its readers? And we tend to want to focus on what this past, what we should do, what sort of action step we should always take. So if I'm reading a passage about when God parted the, the Red Sea, okay, what's the action step? Okay, your action step is you need to be like Moses and hold out your staff <laughs> and, and trust that God is going to part your Red Sea. You know, I, I, I don't know, you know, how how do we take this sort of action step but what if a faithful response would be and, and i give these these categories of what if a faithful response is that god wants you now to look through the lens of this scripture and see your world and see him differently what if the response is that you actually begin going through life viewing God as one who actually has done this for Moses and that this is the same God who's at work in your world, in your life today. What, what if it's a matter of transforming you theologically into seeing in new and better ways? Or what if, I, I also use the idea of being, what, what if God is actually through scripture shaping your virtues so that there may not be like a direct like, okay, therefore thou shalt go and be humble. <laughs> but what <laughs> if like as you're reading, you find the Lord just sh shredding you of your pride and shaping you into be someone who's looking more and more like Jesus Christ. So 
I want to just give more room for how God's word might work other than kind of maybe like a what we a trap we'd fall into with kind of simplistic interpretation. So I know that you're you have Van Hooser background and I think you can hear some of what I'm I'm doing here mm -hmm. um, that's pushing us beyond typical uh, application. But but Van Hooser uses this idea of and I don't talk about this in the book, but we're kind of become like improvisational actors who upon reading the Bible, we, we know the script so well, we know our God so well, we've been formed to be able to, and empowered by the spirit to be able to live according to the script he's given us. Um, that, you know, we're able to kind of to li live it out in light of the, the story that's unfolding as we're willing to see and engage in the world as God's inviting us uh, to do.